Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm going to teach you one simple trick that you can use to make sure that you are jumping as high as humanly possible for your basketball games. Doing this one simple trick before your games, ladies and gentlemen, could have you jumping two to six inches higher for your games than if you did not use this trick. But before we get started, as always, comment jump, J-U-M-P, down below in the comment section. I will send you a free bodyweight vertical jump training program. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell, share this video, comment Noti Squad down below in the comment comment section and you'll be entered into a giveaway where you could win free protein, free programs, free t-shirts, free resistance bands, etc., etc. And ladies and gentlemen, please take yourself to the next level. Get my advanced training programs. Link will be down below in the pinned comment and in the description below. But all right, let's go ahead and let's get into it. This one simple trick isn't really a trick. This one simple secret isn't really a secret. It's actually a very well-known fitness principle that's been around for a long time, but most people don't actually take advantage of it, and most people don't actually use it in the context that I'm about to suggest that you use it to be as bouncy as possible for your basketball game. So let me tell you the story of how I stumbled upon this, and I'm about to tell you the trick, relax. So one day, I have a basketball game, and I did this trick, which I'm about to tell you, I did this before my basketball game, and I was jumping crazy high for my basketball game. I was like, I was like, bro, throw me oops, just throw it to the hoop and I will do the rest. And then after my basketball game, I started thinking, I'm like, why was I jumping so much higher this game than I ever had before? What did I do different? And the difference was that the trick that I used is called post-activation potentiation. Ladies and gentlemen, post-activation potentiation is what we need to take advantage of before our games so that during our games, we are jumping as high as humanly possible. So what is post-activation potentiation and how can you use it to jump as high as possible for your basketball games? Post-activation potentiation in the context that we are going to use it for jumping just means that we do a weighted explosive exercise to activate our muscles to potentiate our muscles, to turn them on so that when we go out onto the court, our muscles are now activated, potentiated, and we are jumping way higher than normal. That's really all that it means. We are doing specific exercises in a specific way to activate our muscles, to turn on our muscles so that we are jumping higher than normal for our basketball games. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you my exact routine that I do every single time before one of my basketball games. Then I'm going to show you what you could do if you have weights, what you could do if you do not have weights to activate your muscles, to turn them on so that you are jumping as high as possible. My routine that I do about 30 minutes before every single basketball game, I do this in my apartment with my weights and then I drive to my game and my muscles are potentiated for my basketball game 30 minutes later. What I like to do is three different exercises. The first I do is back squats, but I am literally only going down a few inches. Remember, we don't want to crush our muscles. We don't want to break down our muscles. This isn't a full workout. This is a very small workout moving explosively that is going to potentiate our muscles the way that we want them to. This isn't a full hypertrophy bodybuilding workout. So the first thing that I do is I put 95 pounds on the bar and I do 10 reps only going down a few inches, but I'm being explosive with every single rep. Then I put on 135. Once again, I do 10 reps, then 185, 10 reps, then 225, 10 reps, then 275 for 10 reps. And then I do 315 for 10 reps. Once again, I am only going down a few inches. I am not even doing a quarter squat. The goals here are for me to go moderately heavy, being explosive with every single rep, actively pulling the weight back down and pushing the weight back up. That's very important. You are pulling it down and pushing it back up as you are doing your reps. If you don't have a squat rack in your house, which I'm guessing that most of you don't, you can use a resistance band and do band squats to mimic this same exact thing. Put the band around your feet and around your shoulders and go up and down as fast as you can. And if you don't have a resistance band, you could also also use dumbbells or a heavy backpack to do this same exact thing. The second exercise that I do is a rear foot elevated split squat. Now I am predominantly a two foot jumper, but this is just in case I wanna dunk on somebody off of one foot. Once again, you are only doing a few inches in range of motion. You are not going all the way down. And I like to do 10 reps of oscillatory pumps or a few inches in range of motion with moderate to heavy dumbbells. And I do three sets on each foot of 10 reps. If you don't have dumbbells at home, but you do have a resistance band, you can use a band for this one, or you could use a heavy backpack. And the last exercise that I do before I get in my car and go to my basketball game is 
three sets of four reps of dumbbell box jumps. Now I'm not jumping as high as I can. This is an 18 inch bench that I'm jumping onto and I suggest that you use around 18 inches, maybe even 12 inches if you are a beginner and I'm holding 20 pound weights. Once again, if you do not have dumbbells, you can use a backpack full of books. Now guys, let's say that you are a high school athlete or even a college athlete or really any athlete that isn't going to be home first. Let's say you go to school all throughout the day and then you have a game right after school. What I suggest is taking a resistance band in your backpack and using that resistance band to do your squats and then your rear foot elevated split squat and then using your backpack to jump on to the, the bench, the bleachers in the locker room before you go out and before you work your game. And also the time that you do this before your games, I do it 30 minutes before, but I find that it works better if you do it about five to 10 minutes before your games that will get you the best results. Anyways, guys, that is the trick. It is post activation potentiation and that is all for this video. Like this video if you like it subscribe to the channel, click the bell, share this video, comment notification squad to be entered into the giveaway and get my advanced training programs. If you want to take yourself to the next level, link will be down below in the pinned comment and in the description of this video, but I will see you in the next video. Young beast mode from the East coast, a young kid with a West coast feel, and I don't even know how the West coast feel. I'm from where it's cold. The city made a steel where a lot of Fold, only couple keep it real right Back seal, keep it real tight Keep two L's just like Cool J My heart's cold as Ice Cube Praying it's a good day I'm at a crossroads, but in a good way